Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change your Mac icon folder color on Monterey. First thing, we wanna make sure that we've updated to Monterey. So you click on your Apple about this Mac. You'll see here I'm on Mac OS 12.2 Monterey, just to show you that this is the version that we're doing it on. There's two ways that you can do this. You can upload an image and the image becomes the Mac folder icon here that I've done here in this pink and brown, or you can actually change the color of the folder itself. The easier way actually is to use an icon, and I've created a uh, hundred different icon colors on my website, I'll put those down below, those are free. It's just in a Google um, Doc folder that you have access to all these colors. You just copy and paste that, um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a new folder. So you can either do the smart tab of up, command, and N, which is a new folder, or just go to file, new folder. You'll see that I have this folder right here. We're going to left click on that folder and get info. Now actually it's gonna open a finder tab, and we're gonna be changing the color of this little icon right here, and it will ultimately change this. So we'll click up here on the little tiny icon. We're gonna command C, so we're gonna copy and paste that to our clipboard. And what that'll allow us to do is to jump into preview mode. If we go file, new from clipboard, there is our folder that we have copied and pasted or we're previewing here. So this folder right here on the screen is actually this tiny little untitled folder too. So the way that we change these colors is actually by just changing the gradient and the texture, sepia, different things like that. In order to do that, we need to click this little marking tool here. And then we're actually gonna slide over right here in the second layer to adjust color. And you'll see that we have these different levels. So you can change the levels by the arrow at the top, moving these around. It's one way that you can change those. The other way that you can change is mess with the saturation, the temperature, and tint. Tint is probably gonna do the most color changing. So you see we can go all the way from purple, all the way back over to a bright blue, and you can change these back and forth to get your desired color. Um, the colors that are hard to get with this is the yellows and the reds, and that's why I created all of these over here is to get some of those you know, more brighter colors, I guess. So, so once you have the desired color in your folder that you've adjusted to here, what we actually wanna do is we wanna copy and paste this folder to replace this blue folder here. So what we do is we come into our preview window, we hit Command A, go Command C here, and then jump over here and Command V. And you'll see that that color is now changed on that folder. And if you look at these two folders next to each other, this is actually the folder color that's changed, and this is just the image. And the way that you change the image is again, you can download any, any of these colors here. So let's grab this matrix one, so we're gonna click on it. Um, and then we left click, save image as, and it's already gonna be named, so it's the matrix. You can see here that the PNG is now saved to our computer. I can also go to my, we're gonna delete this. I can also go to my downloads folder. You'll see that's right there. And I'm gonna open this downloads folder. We're gonna hit command A, and you'll see that there's this little blue dotted line. It's actually gonna pull all of this image. So we copy it, command C on a Mac. Come over here to our untitled folder. Hit command V and you'll see now that that folder has been changed to a matrix folder. This does not have the white background because it is black, but you can see on this brown one and pink one that it does have that little bit of the white background. Again, hopefully this saved you time, energy, and frustration. Uh, if you'd like to see other videos like this, please follow and like and let me know. Appreciate you, love you, and I'm glad that you're here.